So in this video, I'm doing a full comprehensive breakdown on the Dead Eye class in PvP. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna do a little skill showcase if you're not already too familiar with the Dead Eye skills, and also be covering, in not as much detail, some of the combos you can do off of them. First up, we have his Q Spiral Chaser. Now, this ability by itself is not very good just to throw out, unless you see the opponent already in some kind of CC chain or stagger, right? So, for an example, let's just say I have this guy, and you see somebody in a stagger from either yourself, say like you use this bullet dance, and then you can throw out the spiral chaser and then keep them in this sustained kind of CC, right? But the timing is very finicky because sometimes they'll be able to dash out. Anyway, next up we have his kick. And this kick is very nice as just a movement ability since it is knockback immune. As well as the fact that you can use these bullets to juggle people or to help teammates that have somebody juggled. So very, very nice skill. You can also freeze somebody right before they hit the ground. Although on RU, it's kind of hard to do that, but that's another thing. And then next up we have the Frost Grenade, which I just demonstrated before. And that snowflake is the area where people or enemies can get frozen, right? So. It's very, very cool when you get those big AoE freezes on multiple enemies. Next up we have Equilibrium. Now treat this the same as like uh, a Spiral Chaser or treat it as something that's like used as a filler skill. Right, so say someone you have in like that CC chain, you can use that as like a filler ability. So you can either go like this, have someone like that, something like that, right. So it's mainly just used as a filler skill, not really kind of like a big impactful button. Uh, now this button, Ruler's Will, or Bullet Dance, is pretty impactful because it is a movement and is nice kind of like little AoE to get people started in a stagger chain. Although you're not protected with this, it is still very, very, it's a very nice tool to use, honestly. Next up we have the classic Somersault Shot. With this ability, you can either choose to peel or to go in. And it's all up to your decision making on whether you want to go in with this ability or to really just get out of dodge, out of any situation. As you see with your dash, you're able to cover a long distance. And it also has that unique effect where it has that shot underneath you. So say you flip over an opponent, now they're in its chain. Anyway, next up we have Quick Shot, which is a double tap. And this ability is very nice because it has slightly more stagger than other pistol skills, right? So if you see this, notice how the opponent is not in stagger that long? Well, this is slightly longer, so it's very nice to hit confirm off other things and follow up like that. Very, very nice ability. Next up we have Deathfire, which is, in my opinion, the most fun ability of either Dead or Gunslinger, which is just you dash in. And then when you're dashed in, as you see, while you're doing that shooting, you are immune to knockbacks and just general hits done in by itself, although you can be CC'd out of it. But a thing to note is that on dash in, you can be CC'd out of it. It's only until you start shooting. Same thing when you do that somersault, if you hit the perfect, that somersault out, that somersault out is unprotected. So be careful and the ways you use it because you're not all immune to uh, the knockback. It's only when you're firing. Next up we have the Q, which is I have on Q, which is Omen of the Apocalypse, which is nice just to shot. And in PvP you tripod it so it has that sun effect. So it is a very, very useful tool to kind of transition out of a hit stun combo. Right? So you have this into this. And then now you can omen and go in for big damage. Right. So very, very, very nice tool that the that it has over the Gunslinger, as the Gunslinger does not have access to this. Next up we have this kind of filler skill, Barrage. You shoot three times, although you can cancel it with your dash. Say you don't want to do all the three times, but it can only be cancelable from the dash. If you don't have the dash, you will be forced to do the three shots. This skill is just mainly just used as kind of like a... Um, yeah, just a filler skill. Say you you see, see somebody knocked down or don't have any CDs and want to provide damage, well then you can just use this. It's a decent skill. 
Uh, next up, we have this shotgun ruler, which is very, very nice as you just you hold it down and then you just on that last hit is a knockback, which is very, very useful because the gunslinger does not have a knockback, but this does right on her abilities. So it is very, very useful. You can also choose to just fire once and cancel it really quick just in case you want to get some extra damage out and want to jump out of the safety. So it's nice that you can cancel out of it. And now we have the bread and butter move, Last Supper. Yeah. It's a small dash into a huge damage area, damage circle. Although it is very, you are basically immune to, or you're not immune to anything. You can basically get hit out of this at any point. So use it when you're in the clear and you know nobody's gonna try to mess with you while you're using it. You mainly use this off of a freeze combo into Shotgun Ruler to finish and then one, hit, one part the Omen of the Apocalypse because at that point your opponent is on the ground and is able to roll away. So lastly we have the rifle skills. We have this Spiral Flame. Now this ability knocks up opponents in a straight line but the line is not that big and the projectile speed is long. I mean it's just slow and the um, cast time is very long. So not an amazing ability but it's there. You just mainly use it for poking long distance. Next up we have Great Disaster, which is a very, very nice skill. Basically treat it like a fifth shotgun skill, and what I mean by that is that, say you have a freeze but you don't have Last Supper up, well then you can just freeze, switch, and then boom, big damage. Although be wary, as in this Last Supper, I mean this Great Disaster, you have to hit the enemy between these two, like, grenade pillars, right? To get the double damage if you don't you'll only get a single single hit off so it is kind of like a skill shot in itself next up we have perfect shot which if you hit at the perfect shot you're able to get big big damage and a chance of crit depending on what tripod you take the other tripod you can take i'll show you is a little little preview is that you can make it so you don't have to get hit that perfect shot and you just hold it and when it finishes, it'll automatically get the perfect shot. But that's up to that's a decision for when you see the PvP page. Next and lastly, we have aim and shoot, which shoots four shots. That fourth shot is a guaranteed stun, and a little combo you can do with that is la um, four shots into perfect shot, and that's guaranteed. And that's usually what you want to do uh, when you hit that stun is to do that and then I also forgot these ults his ults pretty nice big AoE circle use it to follow up on other people's ults or you can use it solo if you turn behind yourself that is guaranteed so it is kind of tricky to land a guaranteed ult but not impossible I guess I should show his other ults play bombing which is big, big three shots. Um, you could also hit it off a of freeze and do a bombing. Very, very nice. Big in a cone. So it depends whether you want that line or you want the circle for PvP. And that's all the skills for the skill showcase. And now for Deadeye's complete PvP page. This is a full PvP page and one of his builds that you can run that I'm going to be showing you. First things first, let's just get the stat points out of the way. For stat points, you just want 1,000 in agility, 249 in subdue, and 1 in critical. And for his first ability that I'm going to show off is um, the grenade, the frost grenade. You want wide explosion for increased radius, the frost grenade part of it, the, the freeze element. Next up, we have execution. For execution, you could either run a uh, big foot or a vital attack. Bigfoot just makes it so they throw, they get thrown up higher. This, this just makes it so the kick 100% critical. And then tenacity, the required one. No longer um, interrupted by knockback effects. Very, very strong, very nice. And this tenacity is also applied to the second part when you're shooting up in the air. Very, very, very useful. Next up, we have Somersault Shot, which you want 10 points. You want Ignore Collision, Evasion Master, very very nice to cheese out people and evade something and super armor which lowers the cooldown and makes it so you become immune to knockback 
very, very important. Next up we have Deathfire. Deathfire, you want tenacity, I mean, to knockback effects, but that's only when you're in shoot, uh, when you're shooting in the 360 around yourself, not in the dash in or dash out. And then we have Cold Bomb, which drops the, the freeze grenades in that circle, and then Invade and Conquer, which is the dash forward and the somersault out. Shotgun skills, we have Omen of the Apocalypse. You want stun effect for that nice juicy stun. If you hit, but if that's you only get the stun if you hit the two parts of the sh um, the skill. So keep that in mind. Next up we have Shotgun Ruler, which you just want the increased rate of fire, quick hands. Next up we have Last Supper, which you want quickly prepare, execution, and auto fire. So auto execution is the dash, auto fire is the three shots, and then this is just for a CDR. Next up we have Spiral Flame, you want quick game, just inc uh, reduce the time to fire it. Next up we have Great Disaster, which you want the tenacity, immune to knockback effects, very nice. You want finishing shot um, for the increased critical strike if they're below 50% HP, and then carpet bombing for the two bombs. Now we have aim and shoot, you want rapid bullet, which is uh, projectile speed increase, you want stun effect, which is the stun on the fourth shot, and then you want rapid fire, which is more speed. Next up, we have holding, we have a perfect shot, which you want steady posture, which you're immune to daze, so hit stun. And then you want, for this, you could either choose to have the perfect little bar, so you can hit it and have bigger reward with workshop precision, so that you get 50% more critical if you hit the perfect shot. Or you could run a more safer perfect preparation, which basically removes the, the ability to hit the perfect shot. But in turn, you can, you'll can you always have perfect damage, right? The damage from hitting the perfect shot. So it's up to you. This is just like the easiest version to run, which is just perfect preparation into supercharge, which makes it so you just aim and shoot. Very simple, you don't have to worry about the perfect part of hitting the perfect. And for ults, you can either run clay bombing or um, this, the busting flare. So the three shot or the circle AOE. It's really up to you. I think this one, clay bombing is more fun, more cool. But I think busting flare is a little bit better, but try them out. They're very fun. And yeah, that's the end of the PvP page. Before I move on to the Deadeyes combos, first I'm going to kind of go over combo basics of Last Arc. And combo basics of Last Arc is usually you want to hit the opponent in a hit stun of some sort from any ability, right? And from hit stun, you want to go hit stun, to knock up, to CC, right? But in some cases, you don't usually want to knock up, but in other cases, say like a Gunslinger who doesn't have a knock up, it's sufficient enough to just go hit stun into CC, right? And this is really nice because from that CC, you're able to hit your big damage abilities, which is Last Supper, which is guaranteed off of a freeze, or you go into, you go into Rifle and hit your Great Disaster, right? So knowing that, I'm just gonna show an example combo Bear in mind that cool, certain cooldowns might be up, some certain cooldowns might be down. It's all kind of creatively flown, uh, sewn together what combos you do, what combos you don't. Uh, classic ones is being able to just jump into somebody and dive into someone, which you just want to do woo as well. Somersault, Deathfire, Cancel into your shotguns. Right, something like that. But just know that. From hit stun, you can do a lot of things, right? And don't forget, this quick shot is very nice for applying hit stun. It has increased hit stun if you hit it. So use this as like a second part, right? Say you notice someone's in hit stun, second part into this, CC, into that, right? Into Omen, into Last Supper, from your chaser. So. Basically, your main combo tools is going to be your Spiral Chaser, which locks people in hit stun, but does not CC them, or your Grenade, right, which immediately stops the hit stun and will hard CC them, right, or you can go into your Kick, 
into a hard CC before they hit the ground, right? And then hit your big damage, right? And a unique combo that he has, right, is that if you get the chaser off, fully guaranteed, and you have Omen up, that is guaranteed, right? So from that Omen Sun, you can either go Last Supper, or if you don't have um, your Last Supper up, you can go Great Disaster. And one last kind of little mini combo that you can do is that if you have uh, both Perfect Shot and Aim Shoot up, and you get the perf and you get the fourth shot stun, this is guaranteed. Whether you have a tripoded to uh, have a shorter cast or the perfect timing, it is all guaranteed. But be wary though, because if you hit it really far max, basically hit it max range, you're gonna have to. Let me do it from the right side. If you hit it max range, like say max full screen. Your perfect shot might not hit him. So there it hit him. But that does not hit him. So bear that in mind, sometimes you might have to walk up to get this perfect shot, the aim and shoot into perfect shot combo. But other than that, those are all of his combos. You just remember it. Always go from hit stun into some sort of CC, whether it be your omen, into your big damage. That's going to be our main way of getting the combos in Lost and for Deadeye, and combos in general. So your basics are hit stun into CC into big damage. And yeah, and the rest of it is just all creativity of how you use your skills in, you know, when you want to use them. But bear in mind that uh, an opponent cannot be put into hit stun for longer than three seconds because otherwise they will be they will be forced knocked down so that force knockdown is either good because that means if they didn't have a get up say you chase them and you notice they have a they're already missing their get up button that means they're stuck in the ground or bad as in you're gonna miss the opportunity of getting a combo because they'll just dash away from the CC that you put on so bear that in mind I almost forgot one thing, and that is his ult combo. Now for this ult combo, all you just want to do is grenade, look back, turn away from your opponent, and then press ult, right? So you want to grenade, look back, and then press ult. That time, did not have it on cooldown, so you want to look at that, look back, and then ult. Show it again. And that is guaranteed. The reason why you want to look back is because that's where the circle starts, and that's how you get it to guarantee. It's kind of finicky. If you don't want to do that, you can always just get the uh, the barrage, and the same thing kind of applies. So freeze into ult, but the clay, uh, the circle AOE is a little bit different in how it works. But just remember, you CC into ult to, for guaranteed damage, so you don't miss. Also, one last thing is the CC immunity. As you may have noticed that if you get a CC off, the opponent cannot be CC'd again for a short time because they are given a shield. So if you CC somebody, they'll be given a little white shield. Just notice that and make sure you hit a CC or do not use a CC if they have that shield. Right, so bear that in mind. And I've already explained before, but I'll explain again with the scales. Your opponent will get a yellow scale over their head if they're CC'd for longer than three seconds off hit stun, and that will allow them to be, they'll be forced knocked down, right? So if they have a get up, that's, uh, that's bad, and if they don't, that's good because they are just lying there on the floor. And other than that, that is pretty much the full guide of Deadeye. Uh, as for, yeah, as for combos, I mean, pretty much anything that you have on cooldown or not is going to be useful. Say you don't have Last Supper up, or you don't have Great Disaster up, you know, you use either or, or maybe you just use Perfect Shot off a, off a Freeze, which also could work. It's all up to whether you have something up on cooldown or not, but those are all the basic combos. And with that, that includes the guide uh, for Deadeye and Lost Ark for PvP. And yeah, that'll be it. Peace.
the hands go up.